So hi, everyone. Hey, we are here. We are live. So before we begin, um, actually, before we begin, we let's go over some of the um, housekeeping here. I want to make sure that everyone can hear us. If you can hear us, if you could just um, type into the chat box, that would be great to, just to let us know that you can hear us. Uh, also, if you look over to the side, just to go over some of the, um, the keys here, if you go over to the left-hand side of your screen, you're going to be able to see that you can um, click on the chat box if there is anything that you want to um, talk about. There's also the Q&A. Uh, we're going to have a Q&A at the end of the webinar, but if you any questions that come up along the way, please put them in the Q&A box and we will definitely be able to answer your questions. So all your controls are over here on your left hand side. I know a lot of you I can see who are online have been to our webinars before, so it's kind of the same old thing, same old controls. Uh, perfect. Okay, so it is just after... Um, 11 here, so let's get started. So for those of you who are just joining us and you are new to us, we are Karen and Neil. We are the Private Label University, and we have been private labeling for over 35 years. I know we look so young, right? Over 35 years, we've been sourcing, manufacturing, and private labeling products for some of the largest chain stores in the world. We, like you, are also pro uh, sell products on Amazon and other online sites, but we're so excited that you're joining us today, and especially today, because with that news about Amazon that they just released about their review policy, which I'm sure you guys all heard about, um, it, was, uh, it became into effect yesterday, October 4th, and you will no longer be able to give away products for free or for a discount in return for a review, even for an honest review. So the old strategy of building reviews on your listing by giving away or discounting products will no longer be allowed. So if you haven't heard this news, you might want to jump on to Google and start Googling um, about Amazon's new review policy because you will no longer be able to buy reviews any longer. This I know has discouraged a lot of sellers, especially the new sellers, that have competition and are struggling to compete. But let us assure you, you have nothing, nothing to worry about. Because in our new Import Success Formula program, not only have we given you the tools that you need to get your products in front of the right buyers, but we have also aligned ourselves and joint ventured with the best marketers in the industry. And now, we knew this was going to happen eventually. We've talked about this before, and we knew that Amazon would jump on this, jump on all the reviews that are being added to listings that either are not verified or that they were bought. And, you know, they've been talking about this for a long time. So lucky for you, we have been on this, and we have been creating in our new Import Success Formula program that's going to actually re be released in the next few weeks, a whole section on how to get buyers in front of your listing so that they will not only buy and you make money, but you'll also be able to get reviews. And we are so pleased because we have our marketing experts who will be sharing new strategies with our students. So with all that being said, we thought we'd give you a little taste of some great ways to market your product outside of Amazon by using a really cool marketing strategy called Pinterest. So with us today, we have, and very proud to have, Kat Sullivan, who's the CEO and founder of Marketing Solved. She's a serial entrepreneur, she's a marketing coach and an online educator. Went from a stay-at-home mom to a blogger, Catherine used her social media and entrepreneurial skills to build a six-figure business and retire her husband from his corporate job. She is also a social media influencer and has been named one of the top online female entrepreneurs for 2016 to follow. So let's welcome Kat. Thanks so for being here today. So let's actually bring her on. I'm gonna mute myself and let's get her on here.
All right. Can you hear me? Thumbs up. I can't see you. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, just make sure you guys can all hear me. Sound is good. I'm trying to get the thumbs up from Karen. Can you hear me? You can hear me. Cool. All right. So hi everyone, thank you guys for having me here. I've got some really great training for you on Pinterest and I want to show you how you can sell more product, right? We all wanna know what that magic strategy is and I'm going to give you a training today that I've used and it's incredibly successful so that you can also implement this in your businesses to sell more products. Um, I'm going to do a screen share. I'm going to show you a PowerPoint so I can um, give you some slides and you can actually get a visual of how this is going to work. So let me pull this up for you guys. Give me just a quick second to do a screen share. We'll get started. So share. Perfect. Make sure everyone can see me. Okay, cool. So today we're going to be talking about the secret Pinterest strategy that's going to get you more traffic more clicks and more sales every single day on autopilot. So I hope you guys are excited uh, to jump in. Now, I know you don't have time to waste, so I don't want to waste it. Now, let me get these going here. Get your slide, slide going. Whoop, it's not working. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, there we go. I know you don't have any time to waste and we're not gonna waste it. We really just wanna jump right in. Um, you're gonna be the first to access this brand new strategy. So this is really gonna give you the edge. And you're in the right place if you want a simple strategy that's going to bring targeted traffic to your website, targeted traffic that buys. You are in the right place if you are ready for a steady flow of new sales every single day you want to create a system that's going to sell your products for you on autopilot. You want someone to show you exactly how and what you need to do to see real results. Now, Karen talked about Pinterest and what I'm gonna show you today is what we call pin funnels. And what is pin funnels? Well, this is a program, it's a training system that's going to show you how you can use Pinterest to get in front of millions of potential buyers. Traction strategies to drive targeted traffic and buyers to your website and to your products. And we're gonna set it up on automation so that it runs on autopilot. And then finally, I'll show you how you can amplify your results with a very highly converting Pinterest strategy, again, that no one else is using. So this is really at the cutting edge for social media and marketing right now. Strategy changed everything for me. So let me just tell you a quick tidbit about who I am. And these are a couple of my clients. I've worked in digital marketing now for over seven years. And I went from a mom blogger, as Neil mentioned, and then I was able to start working with clients. And these are some of my clients. You can see on the right is Mr. Stedman Graham, who's also known as Oprah's Man. And on the left is actually an NBC television show. Um, this is a, an athletic team called the San Francisco Fire, and the television show is called Grid. And so this was great. I loved what I was doing, but I found myself trading dollars for hours. I was service-based, so I could only take on so many clients because there's only so many hours in a day. And this was great, but I knew I would never be able to hit that next level just by taking on clients. And so I needed to change it up a little bit. So I finally got to a point where I said, I'm ready to stop trading dollars for hours. So what I did was I created a digital product. I thought it was time that I start selling my expertise and I launched my very first product. I thought people were going to love it. I was going to get buyers just running towards me. And what happened was is crickets. Unfortunately, it didn't work out the way that I had planned. 
I had put the product out there and just assumed that the marketplace would know about it. And unfortunately, that's just not how it works. But I'm not a quitter. So I went to work and I started marketing it the way that I was familiar with, which was using Facebook ads and it was emailing my list and it was continuously sharing this product. Um, but I think people got pretty tired of my emails and hustling for every single sale. So maybe this has happened to you. Has this ever happened where maybe you had the perfect product and you launched it only to hear crickets and nobody was ready to buy because maybe they didn't know about it or it was just the wrong product. So this was pretty stressful for me and it was not my idea of entrepreneurship at all. So I knew I needed to change something. And everything changed when I developed the pin funnel strategy. And that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. The best thing about this pin funnel strategy is I went from zero and I had an increase of sales in 76%. And as far as income, I'll just tell you that starting out, I was selling maybe $100 of product here and there. That eventually went to 1,000, which went to 10,000. And now we're working into the 20,000 range just by selling products online using the strategy. So let me ask you a question. Do you wanna sell more products or more services? Do you want to make more money? I know you're all nodding your head. Of course you do. Do you want to start making money on autopilot, right? Where you don't have to hustle for every single sale. Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. And this is not just theory, okay? This is a tried, tested, and proven system. You're probably wondering why Pinterest, and I've had the pleasure of working with Neil and Karen and working on their Pinterest platform because it's such a powerful place for your business to be. So let me tell you why Pinterest. Pinterest users are twice as likely to buy than a Facebook user. The average order value of a sale that comes from Pinterest is $50 higher than any other major social platform. So we know that they're more likely to buy and now we know that they actually spend more money on Pinterest. Click-throughs and sales conversion rates are also way better on Pinterest than they are on Twitter or Facebook. And we all know that more click-throughs and more sales conversions are a great thing to have. 93% of Pinterest users use the platform to plan their purchases. Now, what these stats show us is that Pinterest is a platform where people aren't just going to network socially. They're not watching cat videos on this platform. Instead, they're using it to look for things to buy. They're more likely to buy and they spend more money. It's also the highest converting social network. So if you are a product-based business and even service-based, this is going to be an excellent strategy for you. But the most important piece of all of this and why this is so important is because there is way less competition. Everyone right now is fighting over Google ads or Google AdWords. They're running their ads on Facebook and in the newsfeed and even Amazon ads. But what happens is when everyone is competing to advertise in the same space, advertising becomes more expensive. So people are actually paying more money because There's so much competition. Everyone is trying to get that ad space. But Pinterest is not one of those very popular ad platforms. So you are not going to be using those platforms. And I like people like you because you want to set yourself apart and use strategies that are proven to work and will get you better results. Now, I wanted to share with you a couple of success stories. So let me show you, and these are straight from Pinterest, so you can check them out. Artifact Uprising is this great company, and they offer, um, like, photo books. And they had one pin. One pin took off and went viral. 
And their company went from a basement startup to a multi-million dollar company, seeing triple digit growth in under just 18 months. How phenomenal is that? The Gromit, this is a gift uh, marketplace, basically, where you can get a bunch of different gifts. And in nine months of using this promoted pins platform, their referred revenue grew by 1,233%, and their traffic increased by 336%. So we know with that increase in traffic and that referred revenue, they're seeing a big increase in sales. And then I thought I'd share with you my story. I was just starting out and I had no traffic and it took me to 10,000 monthly. We're about 40,000 now. Uh, my subscribers grew in that first couple of months. I had 700 on my list. I had acquired for about seven years. And within a matter of 30 to 60 days, I had grown that subscriber list to 4,500. Now we're at 10,000 and we increase about 100 every day. And those are buyers, people that are interested in my products, my programs, and what I'm selling. And then again, as I said, our sales also increased. So we've been able to see some tremendous improvement using this strategy. Now, I wanted to also share, because I think this is important, there are new brands using Pinterest every single day. And I wanted to give you just a quick snapshot to show you how great these brands really are. So companies like Sony, the Container Store, Lowe's, L'Oreal, Tory Burch, Wayfair, Walgreens, and Etsy. So these are very well-known brands and companies that are utilizing the power of Pinterest and pin funnels, which we're going to go over, to sell more products. And just by seeing this is new, these companies are starting to see the power of Pinterest and they've just recently come over to start leveraging it for themselves. So really powerful place to be. So now that you know Pinterest is the place to be, let's jump in and talk about how you can get started. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, and I know this is going to be a no brainer, guys, but you're going to join Pinterest. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to create a business account. OK, the business account is going to give you many more tools than just a traditional personal account. So to start a business account, you're just going to go to business.pinterest.com. You click that red button and then just follow the prompts. It's a very easy process to get set up. And then you're going to be able to start adding content. And that's going to be the next step. Once your account is up and running, what you want to do, and this is, this is strategy, is you want to start adding content. This content is not just yours, but it's going to be content that complements your products. So what do I mean by that? Let me give you a quick example. So bodybuilding.com, you can see they have about 62,000 followers on Pinterest. And what they've done is they sell, I believe they sell different digital programs or online fitness types of programs and meal, clean eating uh, meal plans and things like that. Well, what they did is they didn't just create a Pinterest account to share their content. But what they did is they created a lot of content that's similar to what they do. So you can see some of the pins, and I know it's small, but I'll read a couple off to you. Ab and core workouts, breakfast recipes, health hacks, clean meals, drink recipes. And what this does is this allows people who are interested in this type of content that are also interested in the types of products that they sell to be attracted to their Pinterest account, where then they mix in their own content and products as well. So by creating content that complements yours and adding that, you're going to start attracting people that are interested in your products, and that's going to help you sell more of the actual products that you can generate revenue on. So I hope that makes sense. Again, if you have questions, let us know at the end and we can help you clarify that. Then what you want to do is, of course, you want to add your content. Your content is your products, 
that you want to sell. So when you're adding content that complements yours, you also want to mix in the content that you're going to be able to generate revenue from. And you can add your content. They call them pins. And pins can be added from anywhere. They can come from your website. They can come from Amazon. They can come from Etsy. They can come from YouTube. They can come from eBay. Wherever you are trying to drive traffic and actually sell your products from, you can be pinning on Pinterest. And that's where we're going to be able to really start generating traffic back to our products. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into how to create a pin and what pin perfection is. Pin perfection is a little term that I use because what we want to do is create pins that attract people back to us. Because on Pinterest, it is all about the visuals. This is a very visual platform. And I wanted to show you just a quick snapshot of what that looks like. So this is what a Pinterest newsfeed looks like. So if you could take just a quick second and look around, you can see what pins really stand out. And so there's definitely some things that they all have in common, and I'm going to give you that formula in just a quick second. But just take a peek at this and see what stands out so that you know how to represent what products you're selling so that they stand out. Now, there's definitely a science to pins that go viral. So let me give you that formula. Here's what I thought was a fantastic pin, one of a, a perfect pin, a great example. And this specific pin, and I'm going to squint, is, uh, has been repinned 15,000 times. And just real quick, a repin is saying that somebody has saved this to their own Pinterest board 15,000 times. This is one particular pin. Of those 15,000 pins, it's been pinned to other people as well. So this is just one pin showing you how powerful Pinterest can really be. So what this pin has is a clear image. You want to make sure that you don't have a blurry image and that it's high quality and that it really stands out. Clear images are the foundation of Pinterest success. The next thing, the next thing that you want to do is have a very good description, okay? And your description is what you put in there to tell people what this pin is all about. And you can see it down there at the bottom. It says turquoise kitchen decor and appliances. And then there's a little snippet of text underneath that as well. Well, turquoise kitchen decor and appliances is probably what they want to be found for. So that's optimizing your pin for SEO. And I'll talk a little bit about this in a couple minutes. But when you optimize for SEO, you're basically saying, I want this pin to be found for and then whatever keyword phrase that you want it to be found for. So here, turquoise kitchen essentials is what they've labeled their pin. And then in the description, they've used turquoise kitchen decor and appliances. So anyone searching for those is going to find this pin. Click on this pin, you're going to be able to buy every single one of those products. So that's the power of how this turns into revenue. And then the last thing, the secret sauce, is it's a tall pin. And this is that they are tall, they are longer, they're not just short images that you'd see on either Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. This is a very different type of real estate and that's really where you're gonna be able to see um, how to stand out amongst the rest of the content. So let me show you a few examples of pin perfection that same formula. So here we have an expandable travel organizer. So this is a great product. Tells you exactly what it is. It's more than an expandable cosmetics case. And it has been repinned about 1,200 times. Now this is a Kate Spade bag. And what I wanted to show you with this is it's just the product. Now you can't actually see because it's on this white background, but it is also following that tall pin formula. It's just a white background. And you can see this pin specifically is just a bag, so it doesn't need to be fancy, but it's a high quality image. And it's been repinned 14,000 times. So even when it's just a product based, you can see how powerful this is.
And then this one I thought was fun. I showed you how to create a Bulbasaur on your desk. So this was such a fun little Pokemon, um, which was trending and it was such a big deal, showing you how you could have a little plant on your desk. And again, you see that they go with the tall pin, right? They've got color, high quality image. They follow that SEO and that great description. Okay, so those are examples of pin perfection and how you can start utilizing that strategy right away. So now it's time to put our pin in front of millions of Pinterest buyers, right? We now have an account, step one, and step two is to create your pin and your content. But now we wanna leverage those buyers, those millions of users that are searching for things to buy and ready to spend money. So there's two more pieces to the strategy. But first I wanted to share something with you guys. And that is, something really cool and I also have some free gifts for you so hang with me for just a second and then I'm going to give you those final two steps in the strategy so don't go anywhere. Um, I wanted to tell you about pin funnels okay I know I've talked about it already but what this is is this is a step-by-step -step program that shows you how to build a solid sales stream with the Pinterest powerhouse. I have spent thousands of dollars on courses thousands, more than I would ever be happy to admit, but not a single one of them gave me the exact pathway to sales. And I saw something missing in the marketplace. And so that's what pin funnels is all about. It's all about getting you more sales, more product sales. So if that's something that's interested to you, hang with me for just a quick second. Okay. I want to show you exactly how to do this. And that's going to take your product that you're selling. And I'm using Amazon as an example here. And we're going to show you how to get more sales. And Karen talked about how there's now going to be a decrease in getting people to make those customer reviews. Well, let's do it organically. Let's do it by selling more product getting in front of more people and getting them to organically leave us reviews so we can even build on that pin funnel strategy to sell even more. Okay, does that sound good? All right, so what you're gonna learn in the pin funnels program is you'll learn the exact system to sell your products and services on autopilot, right? So you don't have to make every single sale individually, no more hustling. You'll learn how to collect all the traffic that you're getting. And that is important for future marketing and future sales and upsells. You'll be able to convert more sales by collecting that traffic. You'll also learn the perfect viral pin formula that gets clicks like hotcakes. You want to get those clicks. Then I'm going to give you, and this is something I don't share with anyone else, but my top secret strategies for high quality Pinterest targeting so that you're getting right in front of your target buyers. And that's really important because you wanna make sure that your pins are going to be in front of the people most likely to buy from you, the people that are really looking for those products. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in the program. I'm gonna show you how to create a Pinterest ad that goes viral. There's a science to this and I've got it down. And it's gonna collect leads and sales for you every single day. And then we can take those leads and turn them into paying customers by setting up automated email sequences to make sales for you while you sleep. But that's not all because you're here today with Neil and Karen and Private Label University, who I just love. We're going to go ahead and upgrade you to the VIP package. And so we've got some extra goodies, some free gifts that are going to be included in that for you. You're going to learn the top secret tips to generating more leads without overspending on ads. This is really, really cool because you won't even have to be advertising and you'll still be getting leads, traffic and sales. Then I'll show you how to use this strategy over and over on different products so that you can earn more, sell more and work less. You can literally reuse this same strategy for anything that you're selling. Even if they're totally different, the same strategy is going to be able to apply to all of those products. You'll also learn how to use it with products and if you're service based with services. There's also some extra bonuses because with that VIP upgrade, I'm going to give you some bonuses. I'll show you my sales funnel. 
This is the exact sales funnel that I use to take me again to zero to 10,000 plus per month. I'm gonna show you behind the scenes. I'll show you the pin, the attraction magnet, the landing page, the description, the keywords, that top secret ad targeting that I used, and the exact copy, right? The copywriting that I used to sell my products as well. And the value on that alone is 297, and I don't even sell it, but I include it in this program just for you. You'll also get the exact email sequence that sells. So maybe people are coming to your website, but they're not buying right away. Well, if you can collect their email and I'll show you how, I'll also give you the email sequence to sell them. Those are going to be the exact email swipe copies that you can use to turn your funnel into sell sales. And again, I don't even sell this, but if I did, it'd be valued at 197. Again, totally included in this program for you guys. Businesses. I'm going to give you a bundled e-course and this is going to tell you how to create sales on autopilot which is valued at $97. You'll also get a Canva tutorial okay and this people in this program rave about this one particular piece because it shows you the exact free software that I use to create those perfect pins that go viral okay there's a science to that and I'll show you exactly how to do it using Canva value on that's 97 and then there's more bonuses I'm gonna throw in some extra program pieces that I have you're gonna get my five-day social media jumpstart guide this is one of our top sellers that's gonna show you exactly how to use your business get more business and profit using social media then you'll get the ultimate sales funnel checklist so that you can make sure that every piece of your funnel is accounted for and in working order. So this is really crucial to making sure you have a fully functioning sales funnel. It's a mouthful to say. Um, and then you're also going to get some from a phenomenal copywriter. He's an award winning copywriter and these emails flat out convert and we're going to throw those in for you guys as well. So I want you guys to take a moment and join us now. Now this is a very special link because this is to get you that VIP upgrade as well as the bonuses just by working with Private Label University and Karen and Neil. So to grab this program and the bundles and the special pricing, you can go to marketingsolve.com forward slash PLU forward slash four. Okay. That's the private label university special link to get the upgrades and those bonuses. So let me go over it one more time. You're going to get the pin funnels program valued at 997. You're going to get the sales funnel. You're going to get the email swipe sequence that sells the bundled e-course, the Canva tutorial, the five day social media jumpstart, the ultimate sales funnel checklist, those copywriter emails and you're gonna get it for $3.97 if you purchase through Karen and Neil's link. Okay, so Private Label University, guys, they are the best. So let me give you the link one more time. It's gonna be marketingsolve.com forward slash PLU forward slash four. That'll get you the pin funnels program, the VIP upgrade, as well as all those extra goodies and bonuses. Okay, so let's finish our funnel and this way you can start getting some results with Pinterest. So we've already created our business account, right? We'll jump back into it, guys. We've created our account and we know how to create a perfect pin. So now it's time to get some pin traffic, okay? We want to start driving traffic. Now your pin is going to be promoting your product, whatever you're looking to sell. And you want to get as many eyes on that pin as possible. So how do we do that? Let me give you a couple of ideas here. Now, I want you to focus on your keywords. I took a second earlier to mention your keywords, but I want to give you just another quick training on what that means. I want you to think about what do you want people to find your pin for? Okay, so when we looked at that turquoise kitchen accessories, they wanted to use turquoise and kitchen together because they wanted anyone who was looking for turquoise kitchen appliances or products to find their pin. So think about that because, and this is really, really important, Pinterest is actually a search engine. 
So what that means is it's very different than the other social networks where you have to be providing content that is then pushed in front of people. When you use these keywords and this keyword strategy, because Pinterest is a search engine, and let me explain it like this, it's just like Google. So when you go to Google, right, you're not just waiting for something to jump in front of you in the newsfeed, you're actively searching for something. Well, that's what Pinterest is. So people are on there making searches for specific terms, for specific products, and that's how you can use those keywords to be found for whatever it is that your product is going to help them with. So I thought I'd give you another quick snapshot. And again, I'm sorry it's so small, but what I did was I did a quick search here for something vague, purse organization. I was wondering if I could find something to help me organize my incredibly disorganized purse. I have three kids who all want to use it as their own personal piece of luggage. So I went for this purse organization. And I wanted you to see what came up. And this is what would happen when you make a search for purse organization. First of all, you can see that it gives me a lot of different products that would solve my need. And it also gives me some ideas, some DIY stuff. There's a lot of different things that we can be using with this purse organization. And then what you see now, if you can look right underneath, and I'll see if my... Oh, okay, there we go. You guys should be able to see this little line right here, okay? This is important. We're talking about those keywords. We're talking about search, and I've looked for purse organization. So what you could do is see what other words Pinterest is suggesting that go along with this specific search. So you can see purse organization. It could say closet storage ideas and on and on and on you know maybe pouches would help them find your product better so you can look and do some research on Pinterest with those suggested keywords as well so I hope you're finding this really valuable those keywords can be super helpful not only on Pinterest but they also tie in directly to Google so by utilizing Pinterest you're actually actually leveraging the power of SEO, search engine optimization, and helping your products be found not only on Pinterest, but also on Google. So super, super powerful stuff. Now, I'll also show you how to be one of the very first results every single time, okay? Let me show you what I mean. This is a search for social media calendar, okay? And let me just put this up real quick. These two pieces of content, they're the very first results that you get when you make this search, and both of those pieces of content are mine. And they both drive a ton of traffic. They not only drive traffic, but they drive subscribers, and they also drive a lot of sales. And there's a formula to making sure that you're one of those top search results, and I'll, I'll give you that in that Pin Funnels program. But it's really one of the best things that you can do because not only will you have your pin and your great keywords, but you'll also be one of the first results. And we all know how important it is to be one of the first results. So now, you want to amplify your pin results, okay? This is what you really want. More eyes on your pin, more clicks to your products, and more sales. So with Pinterest, this is where you need to advertise. We talked about the competition earlier. We talked about the existing ad space online and how everyone is using it right now. Well, Pinterest is not over leveraged. In fact, they're waiting for businesses like yours to get on there and start advertising. So let me show you some examples of what a promoted pin looks like. So these, I did a quick search and I went through and looked at what was being promoted. So you can see these are some awesome pins. They've got high quality images. They've all got that really nice description. But something even more important about every single one of these, and they all have this in common, is, let me pop these up. Okay, let's take a peek at these numbers. So you can see where it says promoted by. It's highlighted on a couple of these because I had done a search for it. But starting with this first one, this hand stamped bracelet, guys, it's been repinned 1,300 times. And again, that's just for that one particular image. If it's been 
repinned and shared 1300 times on Pinterest. Imagine how many times of those 1300 it's been shared. It's also been repinned from there. That's the viral power of Pinterest. So the second one we see here is repinned, been repinned 26,000 times. We've got the bikinis that have been repinned about 7,000 times, 6,900. And then we've got the, let's see, just natural um, serum. And that's been repinned 25,000 times. And then the fur mama sweatshirt 34,000 times. These are one piece of content that's been shared upwards of 30,000 times. So imagine if you had something that has been shared 30,000 times to infinity and it's driving traffic to your sale to your products which you can then capture and sell again as well as how many product sales you'd have just from the direct traffic from those 30,000 repins it's really important right now that you guys stay ahead of your competitors, right? You always want to zig when they zag. And so what's really good about Pinterest right now is you will be able to have access before thousands, thousands of other businesses. Because pin people right now, they're just focused elsewhere. Again, we talked about it. They're on Google. They're on Facebook like crazy. Facebook ads alone has gone up so much in cost because of all of the new advertisers. Now, you are going to be crushing it on Pinterest because you know there's a gap there and you'll be able to really stay ahead of everyone else. So you're probably thinking, why Pinterest ads versus other ads? And it's a really, really good question and something that Pinterest is unique on as far as any other social network and advertising, even Amazon, even Google. So when you're done running other ads, they die. When you stop feeding the machine and stop promoting them and stop putting money behind them, what happens, right? They don't keep running. They completely stop. And that is not the case on Pinterest, okay? And that's super important, guys. So what this means is that your pins, your products, your content on Pinterest is evergreen. So whether you're promoting it or not, it will still always be found in the search. So if you have a pin that has been repinned 35,000 times and someone's searching for it, you don't have to be promoting it for Pinterest to provide it as one of the top searches because it's already got that clout, that credibility from those 35,000 repins. So you'll be able to still drive traffic and drive sales without even running an ad. How cool is that? Pinterest actually rewards you for investing in their platform. And that cannot be said for any other social network. It's really cool. And I thought I'd show you just quickly an example of what this means. And let me see if I have an arrow. There we go. This is one of the very first pins I ever pinned to Pinterest when I started my company. And it is the number one result. It varies every now and then. Um, and let's see, there's another one. So you can see that I've used the same strategy to go from zero to number one search result for a very highly targeted, very popular search. And that's using that pin funnels formula, okay? Now, there's an exclusive strategy that you can be using to promote your pins so that you can continue to be one of those top results without ever advertising. We just talked about that. Um, and that's just really here to support that when you make those investments and you promote your pins the right way to the right audiences with the right type of product pin, then you're going to be able to capitalize on the fact that Pinterest will continue to provide you as a search result. But here's the most important part of all of this, guys. Right now on Pinterest, the traffic is cheap and it's very high quality. That cannot be said for any other social network. When I say it's high quality, we talked about the stats in the very beginning of this webinar. And I told you that people on Pinterest are actually looking to plan a purchase. They're twice as likely to buy. There's more clicks. There's more sales conversions. 
And again, there's not a lot of competition, which means when there's not a lot of people trying to advertise in that one space, they can give you really cheap traffic. And just a quick side note, I wrote, uh, I did a comparison, a bit of a case study on Facebook ads versus Pinterest ads. I promoted the same piece of content and I wanted to see which performed better and Pinterest far and away blew Facebook out of the water. It was cheaper, I reached more people, I had more subscribers and I had more conversions. And that is reason enough for you to jump on this platform right now because it won't last. So you really have to start today before other competitors start learning about it. You saw those brands that are now coming to the platform it's because they're starting to see the power, but that's not going to be the case forever. So you have to get started today. Now, you don't have to do this all on your own, okay? I know what that feels like to try to figure it all out. To build a bigger business, a more profitable business, you have to have the strategy. You have to have the structure and you have to have the systems. So I put together the exact Pinterest sales system that you need that's gonna get you that more traffic, those clicks, again, and more sales, plus I'll show you how to set it up on automation so you get those sales while you sleep on autopilot. So you could figure this out on your own, I tried, and, or you could go the proven strategic route. So take the shortcut and join me in pin funnels. It's the fastest way to get those big results in your business with a clear and focused strategy. So I'm going to show you again what's included in pin funnels, and I want to make sure that you have the special link so that you guys get that VIP upgrade, okay? So again, in the pin funnels program, you get pin funnels, this my sales funnel that generates 10,000 plus per month. You get the email swipes, the bundled e-course, the Canva tutorial, the five-day social media jumpstart guide, the ultimate sales funnel checklist, those copywriter emails, plus the VIP upgrade training that you're getting by joining through Private Label University. And you don't want to wait because if you are, you're leaving money on the table. So let me ask you a question. How would your business look if you were getting new leads and new sales coming to you every single day? How much more profit would you earn if you could easily create high converting pins and they would make you sales daily? How would you feel having access to a secret untapped market of buyers that your competitors don't know about? It'd feel pretty darn good. Your pockets would probably feel better. This is an investment in your business. And again, let me just give you the link to join us. It's marketingsolve.com forward slash PLU forward slash four. And that will get you the special with Private Label University. Okay, so I'm going to end the screen share and see if we've got any questions here. Give me one second. So I'm going to stop sharing, pop back on. Perfect. That was amazing. Hey, guys. Oh my <laughs> That was great. I have to say though, um, before we jump into questions, because we do have a lot of questions. Okay. <laughs> um, I have to say that um, I uh, that we use pin funnels, as you had mentioned, and it has literally changed the way we do business. We've had so many people that we have been able to reach out to that we did not have before, and it was because of pin funnels. It's because of Pinterest and being out there and people seeing who we are, seeing our brand. So um, thank you, because you got me in, in, in that. I would never have known about that. And that's what, especially now with Amazon changing the way that, um, you know, bringing people to see your products, this is, this is huge. Because a lot of people, when they're selling products on Amazon, they really just rely on Amazon and Amazon advertising and what we keep trying to explain to people is you need to look beyond Amazon because if Amazon ever one day said hey you can't advertise here anymore and just like what's happening with the reviews now on Amazon you have to be able to bring people in to your funnel or bring people into seeing your listing and what better way than than Pinterest, Pinterest. it really really yeah. is a great place 
So thank you for introducing that to us. And thank you for sure, sure. introducing that to um, our audience. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure. I love spreading the Pinterest love. So <laughs> I'm happy to do that. Perfect. So are you uh, good on time? We can get some questions answered. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. So um, here we have a couple of questions here. So let me see. Keep your pins fresh. Question one more time. How do you keep your pins fresh? What I do is I actually use a system that I will share with you. And there's a program that I, ha I have that continues to share your content to the top of the news feed. Um, and that program is called Board Booster, and it's a great supplement to pin funnels because it keeps your content coming in every single day. Pilot, which we all need more of automation. Um, so that's one good way. Another thing that I do is I actually go in and I reshare my own pins and my own content so that I can get it started on that viral process. And that's amazing. And I know you did that for us. You had everything automated for us. It's yeah. been amazing because you know, you know, we are so busy. We're traveling all the time. So what better way to automate it? And I don't even have to think about it. I love it. Absolutely. <laughs> so one of the other questions um, is how do you make your pins tall? Is that something you're going to teach in the class? It is. Yes, absolutely. So you want to make sure that the images that you're creating all pins. And so again, there's a great program. A, there's a bonus tutorial um, in the pin funnels program that shows you how exactly to do that. And I had, it was just a product. It was just that Kate Spade bag, I believe. But even that stands out and I show you exactly how to do that in the program. Yes. Okay, great. I love that. Um, now, do you, it does, when you're using Pinterest, you still have to use all those hashtags. That was one of the questions. Do you use hashtags and all that as well? Nope. Uh, we don't actually recommend you use more than two or three hashtags with your pins. Pinterest is more reliant on those keywords that we talked about. And those are what you really want to focus on. What do you want people to find you for? Is it a hashtag or is it a keyword phrase? And most of the time, it's probably those keywords. Perfect. So we have a couple. Do you want to read some of the questions that we have here, Neil? This one? So one of the questions that came in, is it expensive to advertise on Pinterest? No. Very cheap. Um, let me give you an example. I ran an ad last month and I did it at $2 a day. $60 a month for one ad. And that one ad generated four sales because you can track the conversions and the sales price was $2.97. I sold our programs. Very, very well worth it. Wow, that is great. So can you, yes. a lot of people who are listening um, have products that they sell on Amazon. Can you actually put the link to that listing so that they can then, um, when they click on it, when someone comes and they are looking for something, they can click on their that pin and it'll take them right to their Amazon listing? Absolutely, yes, yes. And then you can, behind that pin, that piece of content from Amazon, you can turn that into the promoted pin. So it's your actual Amazon listing that's being shown to however many people are going to be seen by that. And again, you can advertise as little as a dollar a day, but once you start seeing it drive traffic, you can put more dollars behind it as you are selling more products and more comfortable to do that. So yes, absolutely. You can sell directly to Etsy, Amazon, eBay, wherever your products are, um, and then just drive all the traffic there. Amazing. So how many, one of the questions is how many people actually go to Pinterest and look for products? Do you have that number? No, I don't, but it's upwards of 
So the way that Pinterest originally came about was it's a, um, a like an idea board. It was a place for people to save things that they were looking at. So people that were shopping for home office decorations wanted somewhere to save the products that they were finding and Pinterest became that place. So, and I don't have the exact number, but there's many millions of people that use it and we know their primary purpose of using it is to plan Sorry, we missed that part was to plan plan their purchases. To plan <laughs> what they want to buy basically. Not plan. Yeah. It's like I'm on that edge. Yeah. You're like, what, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Um, so I have another quick let's just look at the question here. Um, so how often do you post was one of the questions. How often do you actually have to post something? You know, you don't have to post very often. That's the great thing about Pinterest is it's not like Facebook. King on Facebook. I love Facebook, but when you're selling products, it's it's different. Okay. Um, so you don't have to post every day on Pinterest. You can create your account. You can add your content, you can add your, and then you can set those up as promoted pins. Run, you don't have to be on there every single day. Um, you don't have to go on there at all. I actually rarely log in if I'm not running an ad. So you set up Board Booster, that's part of the automation process, and your account runs on autopilot for you. So it's not something that you need to be on every day. It's I don't like to say set it and forget it, but it's definitely more, uh, it's easier to set it and forget it on Pinterest than other programs. Nice, so I have a quick question then. This is my question. So is it important to pin um, or create a post that's gonna just give information instead of just keep posting products that could be sold? You know, I think you have to test that out a little bit. Um, there's no right or wrong answer to that the way that you want to do it is to complementary content people in plus have your own content that you're putting those pin funnels behind that's really the the winning strategy so that you know that you're promoting the content that is going to drive revenue to you because that's what's important we want to put our efforts on what's going to be able to generate revenue back for us i have a question you have a question? I have a question. Okay. <laughs> okay. my, my question is, can you post videos as well for the products oh, yes. uh, you want to sell? You can. I posted all your videos, guys, from YouTube and from your website. Um, yes, you can. So if you're doing product reviews or if you're if you're opening up things like that, and I know a lot of bloggers, they do product reviews and they partner with influencers and companies to open their products. And you can pin those as well, all that video content. And, and what's cool is Pinterest plays them on Pinterest. So you wouldn't even, it doesn't take the traffic away or watching the videos. Very good question. Yeah, I should, I should add that to my presentation. That's so smart. What, what about like contests and stuff? Can you post like contests? You can absolutely. Yeah, Pinterest is great for contests. So there's so many different ways that you can do it. Um, and a lot of companies will have you pin your favorite products of theirs. So I think it was some, it was a furniture company and they did that. And they said, we're going to give away a $500 shopping spree. You have to enter by pinning your favorite products to a certain pin board. So what that's doing is that's actually leveraging the Pinterest power and letting other people share your content. And let me add real quick, that's content to Pinterest. So it doesn't have to be just private label university sharing your content. I could share content that I find from your website or that I find from your store and I can share that as well. So sometimes people go to my website, they pin my content, it goes viral without me even knowing because somebody else brought it to the platform. A lot of power there in virality. So when you say someone would come to your, your um, 
to your board, they would pin something, but they pin it just to explain to people, is it pinning it to their board? See it? So what happens is, is anytime someone pins it, it's going to go onto their pin boards. Like we looked at the example, which bodybuilding.com is a great one. And their content, their network sees it. So anyone that follows them or that they're friends with, their network then sees that content. And that's how it can be pinned again and repinned and that process can continue. And if one influencer, so someone that has a lot of fans, uh, one of the examples I think was the Gromit or Artifact Uprising went to triple digit growth in 18 months. And it was because one influencer pinned their content. And that influencer had such a large network that everyone saw it, repinned it, repinned it, and it turned into a significant amount of revenue for them, taking them to a multi-million dollar just because of the power of Pinterest. It's like my favorite success story. It's so good. So that's a great idea for, say, a contest. So if someone were to have a contest um, and people would have to then opt in and give their information as far as an email so people then can get an email list building at the same time. And as, FP, and as people pin this particular ad to their own boards, it just could go viral in that way. And then again, Absolutely. building at the same time of actual real Absolutely. emails that you can use later to send out to promote a product or a new release or new launch or something. Yes, exactly, exactly. And there's some other ways, and I talk a lot about that in pin funnels because if you can collect information, I know Amazon you can't, but if you're sending traffic to your own website, you can, as well as even Etsy, there's some ways that you can you can grow an email list. Um, and then when you have those, those are leads. They already like your products. They're interested in what you have and what you have to say so you can continue that sales process. It's, it's a phenomenal tool to get um, more buyers and upsell products and get more sales. And this is amazing. And this is a lot what we talk about. Um, we're going to be launching a new update to the Import Success Formula program, a program where we teach people how to private label products and get onto Amazon, start their business. And we're going to talk a lot about the different ways of marketing outside of Amazon so that you can now start bringing, building that list and bringing people that are just organically coming into looking for your products, buying your products, leaving reviews. And that's really about building a business. I mean, a lot of people start businesses on Amazon and don't think beyond. And there's so much more beyond. I mean, we come from the retail space. We've been working with Walmart and Toys R Us and and eventually what's really great is once you build your business on Amazon and you build up all that Amazon and marketing a lot of that. Don't just think marketing Amazon. It's beyond that. It's about building a list, building your brand to the world, not just not just on Amazon. And pin funnels is a great way of doing it. And you can see on the side here for those listening, you can see I have a direct link to get right into pin funnels. It's a fabulous program. I mean, especially now with the way Amazon's going, you guys need to really consider looking at bringing in building your own list and bringing in people to see your product, show your product to the people that really, really want it. And pin funnels um, and Pinterest is a great way of doing it. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I agree. So we have a couple other questions and then I promise we'll let you go. <laughs> sure. So um, what does it, does it cost anything to have an account on Pinterest? No, it's totally free. It's a social network. Uh, they just, the only cost would be the advertising. So, but other than that, yeah, absolutely free. Great. And, support, and what is the support like as far as if there's someone has a question or a problem on Pinterest, do they give good support? Absolutely. They are very quick to respond. They are, they, they focus on customer service. 
and they actually really reward their customers for being with them um, best as far as customer support. You'll get an email from a person. <laughs> we always like people. <laughs> Just <That's true>. right. <laughs> exactly. No robots. No robots. Yeah. No robots. <laughs> So thank you so much. I mean, this has been amazing. And like I said, we we use Pinterest. We've used your pin funnels. You've been, I mean, you had us set up, ready to go, and it's been amazing. We've seen some amazing results. So thank you so much for um, educating everyone here and letting everyone know. Um, if So how can people find you if they need to um, you know, get some more information? Yeah, uh, Marketing Solved is a great place to find me, and um, there's a lot of free training and content on there if you're looking for uh, more stuff like this, more stuff like pin funnels and more training like that. So wonderful. So if they click on that site that they gave you, will it take them right to your um, right to your page? Which one? Which link? The link that I posted or your link? So I lost you. Nope. I, we I think we lost you here. The link that um, the link that you gave earlier. That is a very special link. Yes, that's going to be specific for pin funnels to get people that VIP upgrade, uh, the private label university upgrade. So if they click that link, they'll be able to get that upgraded uh, program as well as the bonuses. Um, that link only. If they purchase it elsewhere, they won't get the bonuses. Yay. Well, thank you so much for doing that for all our students. It's amazing. Thank I'm you for so that offer. Very, very yeah. generous. Thank you. And thank you for joining no us. This thank is you amazing. So much. I'm so excited. I'm going to go in and actually going to put a new um, new post, a new pin. I'm going <laughs> to go pin. pin some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So thank you all for joining us. And um, don't forget to find us over. If you have any questions, come join us over on our Private Label University Facebook group. We have a private group there. Make sure that you join. We have tons of information, and we'd love to hear from you. We'll speak with you all soon. Thanks again. Perfect.